Howdy everybody, Tucson Piper here. So today we are going to attempt what Mel Garbage Man Piper was talking about on his previous videos. Uh, modifying a Savinelli stem to accept an 8mm filter. So what I have on the old healing bench here is a Savinelli 626. This is Tus uh, Tuscana, Tuscana. Uh, model. It's in fantastic condition. And this is the stem that I will be modifying today. I also have this stem from Garbage Man Piper's uh, 1025 Savinelli that he had me restore. And I'm going to show you guys something very important to look for. Now, not all Savinelli stems are drilled the same way. What I mean by this is if you take a caliper and you measure let's say this guy from a Savinelli 626 you get an OD measurement of 10.02 millimeters now if you take this stem which is a very common Savinelli stem and you measure it you're looking at 8.01 millimeters so this obviously cannot be modified in this way so we can remove that. Now this guy does have enough meat and I just so happened to receive in the mail about five minutes ago my eight millimeter reamers. So I'm going to, without cutting anything, just go ahead and show you guys the process that I would use to do this. Now this is not going to be a high precision job, nor does it have to be. So I'm going to go ahead and take my little baby vise here, wrap the stem in a microfiber cloth so that I'm not digging into it. Go ahead, get a little bit of grippage on that, and then go to my drill index and start measuring. So obviously this should be somewhere around six millimeters let's go ahead so 6.03 is what we're looking at so that is our starting point i'm going to grab this 9 30 seconds drill bit here and go ahead and measure millimeters and when i do that i get 7.08 so that will be my starting point. And then if I measure this eight millimeter reamer, I know it should be eight millimeters, but they're typically stepped. So actually this one, this one is not, which is odd. It should be stepped down a little bit, but it does have a good chamfer. So let's see this again, 7.06. Go ahead and grab my drill. You know what? I think I'm not going to do this actually powered by the drill. I'm going to do this by hand and just use the drill as something to hold the drill bit. So let's remove the vise and make sure that we are still in frame and we are not. Zoom out a little bit. All right. This is what I'm going to do. This chuck is going to lock. And I don't actually like that. So I'm going to go a step down. I'll leave that one out. I'm going to go a step down here to 17 64ths. Sorry for bumping the camera, everybody. Let's go ahead and see, 1764ths. Now I'm twisting the same way in and out so it actually removes the chips. Remove this guy. Now I'm not gonna do this with like super ginger touch because I don't really necessarily think it needs it. We're working with, you know, rubber. So it's not like incredibly delicate stuff. And it should self-pilot. Now this is, 
You can actually feel the bit grabbing very well. I'm gonna stop it there, start pulling back. So these Vaughn Von, Von filters are 36 or th sorry 35 millimeters long. The pocket that I have created is 21 millimeters deep. So I'm going to continue through. There seems to be more than enough depth here if you hold that up and it should stick out a little bit so you can at least hold it. There's enough girth on this stem to facilitate uh, deepening the hole. So I am going to do some quick calculation. So leave a couple millimeters. So let's say shoot for 32. Go ahead, tighten that down and then get myself the last drill bit that I used. Actually, I should probably just use a 5 because that will self-pilot. Yeah, that's what I'll do. So, go ahead, chalk that up, and then grab a piece of tape, which is like the old carpenter's trick here tape ah. get it set in place all right so that'll give me a little bit of stick out should remain fair. You can always remedy not taking off enough. You can never remedy taking off too much. So always err on the side of a little bit conservative uh, removals. Now I have the urge to just pull the trigger on this thing, but the problem with that is that uh, Vulcan is just so soft, the material is so incredibly soft that if I were to do that, I would run the risk of the drill bit just pulling straight through this thing and going far too deep, so I'm going to go slow, take my time. I am losing grip, so I'm going to Grab myself a microfiber cloth to help with that. Alright, let's pull this chip out. Now I did go a little bit aggressive here using the five 
or the 5 16 but that's because I don't want to risk drilling off at a crazy angle and risk uh, coming out the side of the stem because that's not good for anybody. I would like to be able to complete this without having to do any removal of material from the pipe itself, which I know is asking quite a lot. All right, so there I am. I'm at the bottom of where I wanted to be. Let's go ahead and see if... Okay, so it's very tight. I'm gonna go ahead and ream with my eight millimeter reamer. Down to depth. And I'm actually just gonna pull the trigger on this guy because uh, a reamer can't take out more material than you expect it to. It can only take out what's already available for it to take out. So here we go. That could go a little bit deeper here. Let's go ahead and check our fit. Yeah, so by a little deeper, it's looking like uh, maybe a 32nd of an inch. So, back in with the 5 sixteenths. I'm still gonna use the tape as my guide and just push a little bit past. Don't worry, this is a whole lot more difficult than it seems, I promise you. Especially considering the fact that it. All right, everybody, sorry about losing that little bit of footage at the end. What happened was my numbers turned out to be 32 millimeters depth. And with that depth, you can clearly see that the stem fits perfectly with the shank. And also, you can still have like 3 sixteenths of an inch to grab your filter. The wall thickness is just about 1.3 millimeters, so it's still very sturdy. Nothing wrong with it. And that's about it. And it was a success. I'm actually really surprised. I'm glad that Mel gave me the uh, information on that, letting me know that it was possible. I didn't even think that it was possible. But thank you, Mel, for giving me the idea. Uh, as always, this is Tucson Piper. Uh, thanks for watching. Until next time.